still remember the first good weld I ever made. It was on my brother's go-kart and we made a bumper for it and I made this weld and man, I still remember going back out looking at it going, boy, that really looks nice. There have been a million sculptures based on circles. And I really think I came up with something very unique and I kind of, you know, reinventing the wheel. And so that's kind of where the reinvention idea came from. Pretty much totally random. I'll have 5 16 and 3 8 curves, various length of straight pieces. And I'll just quickly kind of look and go like, oh, where do I want to put it? Especially with stainless steel, as you weld it, it really wants to move. So it's, you're constantly not just fudging this way or that way, but I'll, be purposely out of line, weld it, and then it kind of comes up into line. The other thing I really like about the sphere is that when they're just sitting like on a piece of concrete with no base, they really look like they're just kind of vibrating. It almost looks like a little atom. Sometimes I'll sit down and do a quick sketch, but I'm not very good at drawing. It's easier for me to actually like make a model than it is to draw a model. You know, I grew up in uh, rural Marin County of Point Reyes, and you know, we, my dad was a contractor and also the constable of our area, which was an interesting time. And then I went down to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, got a degree in farm management, and I still, you know, love working with animals. But still, I look back at that time, and my favorite part about all that was actually building fences, working with, you know, equipment, building barns, I think even more than the animals. So I think it's kind of coming from a background where my dad was a builder. And then also having two parents, my mother Swedish, my father Danish, and it was all about style. You know, going from the, uh, the rusty to the stainless steel to the color, if you can have something, you know, bright red, you know, like 100 feet or 200 feet away, and it really, it gives you that little target to walk toward. You know, it's even building a really big sphere. It's fun when I'm building it in here and it's like, oh, it takes me a few seconds to actually have to walk all the way around. Build something big, it changes the way you perceive it. It's nice to have something that really works well with the environment.